Hello my croutons, and welcome back to another First Impressions video. Today we'll be taking a look at Death Wish. Let's get started. And actually, before we get started, I want to take a second to appreciate the music. This is a complete bop. Oh my god. This title screen gives me massive emo, edgy boy vibes though. So, I don't know if that's what you're going for, but I love this music. Holy shit, it's really good. Alright, let's get started actually now. Would you like to view the opening cutscene? Yes, please. I was told this game's 10 minutes long, so I want to stretch it out as long as possible. Bopping my head to the music. Ugh. I have no idea what's going on. What is this image? Upon this dandelion, I wish... Stop the suffering. The sad face is unnecessary. Yeah, that sad face is really devaluing the scene. Is he wearing a creeper shirt? A Minecraft creeper shirt. Hmm. I think my emo edgy boy vibes were on point with this one. Yeah, that, that opening scene was a little bit jagged. Uh, it probably could have been a little bit more fluid, a little bit, you know, more made. Like, the art could be polished up. I appreciate the custom artwork, um, but I it was, it was very hard to see what was going on in that scene. I only really understood he picked up a dandelion and then stabbed himself. So, you know, I'm sure that's all you were trying to get across, really. But you're probably um, reworked that artwork to make it a little more fluid on the eyes. Also, this scenery flashed, and the opening scene flashed before the game even started, or even asked me what was going on. So you should start the game on a black screen, or start the character on a separate map that's a black screen, and then run all your events there, and then transfer the character to the appropriate maps, depending on what the player chooses. Where am I? Why does he look like a like dog hybrid? Why is it so hard for me to breathe? My neck! It's bleeding! Oh. I didn't even I didn't even notice that. I better get that patched up and fast. Let's find a cure for your neck before you die. Okay. Well, this is taking their attempted suicide a bit lightly, but all right. Escape menu, cancel, action, enter, move. All right. The tutorial's on by default. This is the tutorial side nearby. They change its settings at any time. Well, aren't I gonna die? Oh yeah, I am gonna die. So tutorial sign. Would you like to toggle the tutorial? I don't care. Okay. We don't have time. Can I shift? Okay, we got. We don't have time. We found a hidden item. Change regret message, Mothy. Okay, time freezes while I'm in here. Let's see this. It did nothing. Or is it? Did it do this? We don't want to fight this. Yeah, one bandage like green cloth. Perhaps this could be used in some way. Can I put this on my neck? I have an idea. You can use this to stop the blood flow, at least for the time being. Ouch. Oh, that's better. There's no permanent solution, though. I think I need to find a real medical professor in town as soon as possible. All right, well, that, de you know, that gets rid of the stress. Five minutes is probably a bit too much time, but I understand why you did it. You don't want to stress the player out immediately. I like all of the animations and all the artwork. It's not, like, the best artwork I've ever seen, but it got more fluid as the game progressed, and it's, you know, more fun to look at than RTP. Wait. Okay. Barricade Boulevard, absolutely nothing at all. Well, we already know we gotta go to absolutely nothing at all. It's very important. Starlight Pond? Why would you go to the trouble of making these maps if there's nothing on them? You should just auto-transfer the player. There shouldn't be, like, a thing that says, uh... Like, are you ready to proceed? Wh what This looks... Familiar. Hmm. Well, I might as well take it in case it comes in use later. Got a bloody dagger. What is going on? Did I, like, commit suicide and then forget all of that and then I'm still alive? Interesting. How do I get that chest? Oh, is that from the starter map? I have to walk to the left for it? Alright. We will go back and we shall explore. I really like the music. It's very nice in this game. 
Here we go. Give me loot. We got one rusted dagger. Which one's better? Okay, I don't I didn't even need to go all the way that way. Alright. Cool. Can I Why doesn't that do anything? I can go in the house though. Oh. You know, I already took a bath, but it can't hurt to wash my hands. There's some demonic thing on your bed, lady. Oh, everything's fake. I can just walk over all of this. Okay. Hello? It's nice to meet you. Feel free to look around and take anything you need. It's very kind of you. I did just break into your house, but alright. Oh, the shinies are loot? Oh, they are. Okay. This all feels very surreal. Tamed, I'm glad you're evil too. What? Oh, is this different music? Oh, it's different music, I think. I know like being a girl. Okay. This is an interesting design. Looks custom made like it's based on something a popular idol wore at some point. Uh, maybe I should rest here? Not yet, not yet. Interesting. This this game has a very interesting design. I'm going to use the bed of lady who's currently here if I don't have to. I can just use the other bed instead. Yeah, I feel like the other bed's going to eat me. Um, I feel like the, me the, the message that the game's trying to come at is pretty interesting. All animals, dragons included, are cool. Truth. Alright, let's go to bed now. The bed's going to lick my face off. Your party's been fully recovered. Oh. Well, it's just me. It's not really a party... Oh, it lagged really hard. I don't know why, but it did. That's an awkward looking house too. I feel like you should probably extend the roof by one tile. And there's some weird lag spikes. I want to look into that. All right. Falling part is dangerous. Savings recommended. Well, then we will save. Okay, all I have to do now is get to town. Then this crushing pain will come to an end. All right. I never actually checked the menu. Oh, I can save from the menu. Okay. Not much in there. Is this different music? It says music discs, so... Assuming it's music. Why is that you try so hard? Why is it that you try so hard? Give up. No. Wouldn't it be so much easier if you just closed your eyes and never woke up? No. Just say uncle. No. I want to live. Come on. It's not like they ever loved you anyways. They loved me. I'm your only friend now, Lana. Why do you treat me like this? I know what you want, Lana. You're just a stupid girl who will never get what she wants because it's delusion. You should probably cut out the option for the music discs and the option or in the options menu during this point because it's just playing happy go lucky chill music while there's a fast beating heart in the background and a supposed to be tense scene. You're just a stupid girl who'll never get what she wants because it's a delusion. You can't expect the world to shape itself around your little fantasy of being someone you're not. The problem is with you, not them. You're wrong. This is um a bit rushed. It's kind of a ham-fisted scene of uh, mental illness or depression. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know, but for now, life is worth living. Please stop, Lana. It's fine. Aren't you getting tired of doing this? I'll stop your breath from seeping out for now. No. Yeah, I feel like to do a scene like this that's really impactful, you have to be acquainted with and close to the characters that are uh, being presented in the scene. Um, so I feel like it's it's important, uh, you know, for a game to really build up characters before they put them in a scene like this. Scenes like this without developed characters can still be interesting if they're written around the knowledge that the character isn't developed. But right now, I'm mostly just confused about everything that's happening, and I'm attempting to digest this message the game's trying to give me without really being, you know, smoothed into or smoothly dropped into the world around me. So it's kind of hard to digest an important message when you're confused. Just close your eyes for five seconds, Lana. It'll feel so good. 
just did it. Didn't really make a difference. Uh, nah, I'm good. Why not? Just to come. Nah. I'm good, bro. You're going to die anyway in five, four, three. What if I walk this way? Yeah. What happens if I walk this way, huh? I cannot turn back now. If I do, there isn't a chance I'll make it to town before I die. Uh, unfortunate. Two. No. One. How do you like it? After getting so far, it all ends with you bleeding out just a few feet away from town. The end. Was that the scripted ending of the game? Or is there something I missed? Oh. Oh. Well, okay. I'm not dead, bitches. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. You can't kill me. Ah, I'm gonna slide to victory. You can't kill me, bitches. I never died. Ah. Unfortunate. Oh, now we're just vibing. Okay. Okay, we'll go back to the title screen. And we can, we'll run through this and see what happens if I click... Uh, yes, please kill me. I want to see what happens then. Oh my lord, the lag. Why is that you try so hard? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. Yes, I should. Oh. Okay. Well, that's the whole game, then. Um. There's really... I don't know if this is, like, the opening to your game... Like, your eventual full game, or if this is the entire game you're going to make here, and it's kind of like a proof of concept for a different game you're going to make in the future. I'm not quite sure what you're doing. I think this is the start of your game. Maybe, like, a prologue to your game or something to introduce a character, or, like, a character's death, and then it's going to go to character present day. Um, but this was a bit quick. Uh, the art is decent, although it's all really small, and, and it's difficult to, like, fully take in the world because everything seems, like, really far away from your eyes. You're playing in a small boxed window. I couldn't figure out how to make a full screen. I pressed every button on my computer. Um, so the art seems far away, and it's hard to pick out detail, so it's generally better for me, at least, to have art that's, like, closer up to the player. Bigger art with less detail if you're doing custom art, in my opinion, personally. I, I, I like art. That is large and not small, but, you know, anyways, besides the point, I'm not an artist. I don't know what I'm saying, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, for the writing of the game, I, you know, I think the writing's fine, but I do think it's all very rushed. I feel like you were just trying to get a product made in 10 minutes or, or a 10 minute thing made. I think we're just trying to, you know, I made a game. That's what this kind of felt like. Um, I do think this could be turned into something interesting. I think you have a decent understanding of what you know these mental illnesses is are, are uh what what you know depression and being suicidal feels like i think you have a good grasp on that um but i think you need to introduce it slower into the story um and with characters you're more acquainted with before you try to do a dramatic scene where the character walks slowly to a village and then dies before making it because that scene i seen like that you know i've seen it done before it's not a new thing um and it can be done really well and done dramatically but you have to be invested in the characters uh, before you really care about a scene, even if it's suicide. Suicide, you know, scenes like that generally get a player to be connected to a character. But you can't just be like, oh yeah, suicide, and that's your entire character. You have to have a character outside of that one act of suicide, because otherwise it's going to send the exact wrong message that you don't want people seeing. But for a short 10 minute game, I thought this was fine. Um, I would love to see it extended into a project that's actually you know, with, you know, that has well-developed characters and more developed art and is, is, you know, dragged out over a long period of time so I get to know the characters and then I can be more invested because I think a game like this with the art style like this and writing like this and a world like this is very interesting. Um, you know, again, it gives me kind of Lisa-ish vibes and I like that. Um, so keep working on it. I think this is turn into something great and thank you, my croutons, for watching this short little video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.